a warm round of applause to welcome to offer us some ideas and thoughts here this evening, the one and only, the doyen of corporate governance, Professor Mervyn King. I understand in one of the sessions today you had a talk about the future of the world. Um, let me just make one comment about that. The world is not what it used to be. Uh, certainly in the 21st century, it's even different from the 20th century. And uh, I have been privileged to live through most of the dramas of the last quarter of the 20th century and of course the 21st century. So if one looks at the company today, it operates in not just a financial bubble as many of us were taught and the concept of value being the present value of discounted future cash flows, so we used to look at things through this financial lens, has also changed. There are mega trends in the world today, such as digital manufacturing, radical transparency. The mindsets of the net generation, the millennials, has changed. We have global financial crises, which are still not resolved. We have exacerbated climate crisis, was in the 20th century, but now exacerbated. And we have the use of natural assets faster than nature is regenerating them. So you put that all in a mix, and no company is not affected by all those things. They are. If you do an analysis of the market capitalization of companies on the world's great stock exchanges, which was done towards the end of the 20th century, we discovered, we being the researchers, that the market cap of companies, the additives in the balance sheet according to IFRS standards in this part of the world, and according to FASB standards in the US, made up 20 to 30% of the market cap. This led United Nations Governance and Oversight Committee, which I happen to chair, and IFAC, which all of you will know what IFAC is, to come to the conclusion that financial reporting, although critical and not broken, particularly after Enron and the GFC, there were more standards added, it was not sufficient. And after this realization of the 80, 20% in market cap, the realization that directors were actually not reporting on exactly what was happening inside a company, only telling 20% of the story. And so, from 1997 onwards, sustainability reporting started to try and deal with those issues in the 80%, the so-called intangible assets. And so companies started reporting in the 21st century in two silos. Financial report according to IFRS, sustainability reports according to the G G3, now G4 guidelines of the GRI. Now, we know from a management point of view that companies are not managed in silos. Management on a daily basis deals with human capital, financial capital, manufactured capital, intellectual capital, social capital, the relationships with your stakeholders, customers, suppliers, etc., that they're interconnected and interrelated. They're not in silos. And so the concepts of integrated thinking and integrated reporting developed. And today around the world, IFAC and the United Nations Community on Trade and Development has accepted that we can no longer report just in these two silos, that there has to be an integration of them. So there have been three major shifts in the world today from the CFO's perspective. And let's put each of these shifts in an imaginary circle. The one shift is from silo reporting to integrated reporting. The other circle is the movement from short-term capitalism to sustainable capitalism. The concept of value has changed. Value is looked at today, how does the company make its money? 
And how does that impact on the three critical issues which are at the junction of business, namely the economy, society, and the environment? Issues which the CFO, even towards the end of the 20th century, did not have to consider. So that's the second th circle. The third circle is from short-term capitalism to inclusive capitalism. And when you put these three circles and they intercept, in the middle of all that you find the CFO. So I think that gives you some kind of idea of the complexity of the life of a CFO today. And IFAC in 2012 gave me an award for the influence I've had on listing requirements and, and your great profession, the profession of accountancy. And at that award, in accepting the award, I said, I've seen a movie about a lawyer, I've seen a movie about a doctor, but I've never seen a movie about an accountant. But I made a prediction that we will, in the 21st century, see a movie about the accountancy profession and how the CFO has had to change his or her mindset in dealing with all these issues. So let me just end by congratulating those who win tonight and uh, congratulate CFO because I think with all these complexities that I've briefly outlined to you, you actually need a peer advisory group, which you have with this. And if you're going to lead as uh, it is said in your documentation, to a sustainable growth path in South Africa, you have to take account of all these things that I've been mentioning. So I want to end how I started by saying the world is not what it used to be and you have to apply your minds differently. Have a good evening. Thank you very much.